Hello, my name is Courtney Powers, and I'm here to talk to you today about some of the significant impacts that I've had on music education um, in the past 16 years. You can see all my testimonials on my YouTube page, Miss Powers Music Ed. Since my first national presentation in 2015, I've been actively involved in advocating for excellence in music education and inspiring educators to embrace innovative and inclusive teaching practices. My affiliations with organizations such as MTV Viacom, NAM, Give a Note, Save the Music, Grammy Music Ed Coalition further demonstrate my commitment to the broader cause of advocating for quality music education in schools. By collaborating with these organizations and serving as a consultant, I've been able to contribute the advancement of the field and amplify the importance of music education. At South Philadelphia High School, I was able to be the Jay Dilla grant facilitator, and that was an amazing experience. My extensive performance background with organizations such as the Orchestra Society of Philadelphia, where we sight read symphonies on Friday night, and it was a lot of fun. And I actually brought students in with me to come and listen to a symphony. When I lived in Lubbock, Texas, I was able to have three of my high school band students play in the community band with me. And being able to make music as a collective unit together is such an amazing opportunity and experience. One of my most significant contributions I have made is through the publication of an article entitled Brave Spaces, How to Empower Staff and Students via SEL and a Trauma-Informed Approach. This collaborative work with esteemed educators has received widespread recognition and has served as a valuable resource for schools seeking to implement social emotional learning. The article emphasizes, though, the need for whole school systematic change, okay? So embedding social emotional learning and trauma-informed practices into the fabric of education by prioritizing positive relationships, consistent routines, and emotional regulation, schools can effectively support individuals who have experienced trauma. The article also highlights the power of student voice and advocates for incorporating trauma-informed practices in the arts classroom, offering strategies to students to regulate their emotions to find solace through dance, music, and art. We can ensure that music education remains transformative and empowering experience for all. Beyond my passion for music education, I encountered personal struggles that have deeply influenced my journey. One of the most profound experiences I endured was the journey of infertility. Along with my ex-husband, I went through numerous IUI treatments and pursued an IVF grant. This path was emotionally taxing and despite our efforts, it ultimately left me childless. Throughout the difficulties of infertility, I discovered an inner strength and resilience I did not know I possessed. It was during that time that my dedication to my students became even more pronounced. My students became my kids, my stars. I approached my role as an educator with the same level of love, care, and dedication that one would expect from a parent. They have been my source of solace, inspiration, and motivation to make a positive impact. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it through this traumatic time but having my students there with me every day ready to learn so excited that made me want to keep going on my students are the reason I pour my heart and my soul into my work ensuring that they receive the best possible education and guidance their growth development and happiness fuel and drive me as an educator. I'm constantly seeking innovative ways to engage and inspire my students, and sometimes that challenges the status quo. If I didn't have educators in my past that challenged the status quo and believed in me, even though I was going through very traumatic times, they still believed in me. I hope to do that, and I hope I'm doing that for my students because they matter. They are important. They are my stars. That is, this is why I teach. This is why I'm over here crying. Thank you for listening today. I appreciate your time. And as I got a little emotional there, thank you so much. I appreciate you.